Hey guys, made the Extreme Auto Car and Camping with you again today on a beautiful zone that had the thin film panels replaced pretty much in everyone. So this got done under warranty a while back, so the Enerdrive panels got fitted over the old thin films. However, old mates had power issues. I don't know if you can see the problem. Got 100 watt, 180s, so two 180s and four 100s. They didn't change the system, they're still running the Morningstar 45. So I've got a mixed bag of panels. These are in parallel with these. Now you can do as much research as you like, but when you mix a 100 watt panel and a 180 watt panel in parallel together, you instantly diminish the power of that down to whatever this is. It's been proven time and time again. So we have to redo it and we're gonna make it better. So there's seven, what, 760 Riley? 780, I think, yeah. So yeah, 180, 180, 760. So 760 watts of panels up on the roof here with a couple of shading issues. We're adding another 300 to this, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna split the system in three. So we're gonna be running three solar controllers networked on this. The 400 watt array, which one is over there, one is here, and the other two are up the front there. So four in the drive panels, the 100s are gonna be on one solar controller. Those two 180s are gonna be on another solar controller, and our new 300 watt system, which we're fitting in front there, hard to see, that'll be on another solar controller. And all three of these solar controllers are gonna be networked together to give a combined charge. Now, we're in the Riverland. I'm gonna roll this out in the sun, um, put a couple of power pole batteries in this too, over the Enerdrive 200 uh, BTEC, so there's a big improvement in power. But we're gonna see what we're gonna get out of this. Old mate has never seen above 20, 23 amps. That's what he said. And funny enough, I think, I guess that I said 25. And that's basing on, based on this being 100 and this being 180 and this being dragged down to 100. So I've just gone 400, 500, 600, which is about 25, you know, maybe 30 amps tops. And that's what he's been getting. He's never seen better than that. Or after we're done, <laughs> there's gonna be some big numbers. So hopefully we can get that video for you. Enjoy. Bring me camera back out here. So in the zone, um, the Enerdrive systems they do, it's all on here and they generally put the big tech. Well, there's the 200. And we're upgrading this. Now, with Enerdrive, the best thing you can do is just another 200 amp hour over here. That's all that'll fit. There's not enough width. You know, you can see where the heater outlet goes, the compressor, that compressor, that was there. I don't know if you can see it, guys. I'm able to fit one, two. I can actually fit three, four, if I went to that area, four of Paul's Scout 280s. We do some quick maths. If I could fit over a thousand amp hours in this thing. With then a drive, I think I might, <clears throat> if I were to relocate that, um, the best I could do would be 600. So in the direct comparison for size for size, I could fit four of Paul's 280 Scouts. One, two, and three, quite easily. I can go all the way back. You can see it, all right? So one, two, and three. So that's instantly more there than what if we took the end of driver out with the 200 BTEX. So you're probably thinking, what about the 300s? Can't fit, won't fit them in this. They're too wide, all right? Same length as that, same height, but too wide. I'm, I couldn't fit any 300s in this at all. That's why I like using these batteries and you know, they're such a small case. You know, 500 is the, the end drive length of their batteries. And that's fine, great battery, but these are only 360 long guys. 360, 190 wide, you know, 200 and what, 240 high. Perfect. I can fit so many in this thing. I'm only putting two in this because old mate's got 200 amp hours. We're upgrading to 560. But I'm going to do this. So he has the potential to add a third battery, even number four, if he wants to. And that's the beautiful thing. But just so you guys out there with a zone, if you want this upgrade, check this out. All right, it is a picture perfect fit. Look, so that panel um, that runs through here, you guys, are, if you're familiar with it, 
that panel there will go back in situ. All right, I'm just trialing this now, but you can see it's, there's the bottom, all right? So there's your framework and you can see where the lino ends. Okay, see where the lino ends? So that, it's a perfect fit. It like, it's, it kisses it. It like, it's, it's not gonna go sideways. So I'm gonna run a strap over it, but hey, I'm happy. This is the day we're dealing with. Sun just poked out. We hit 59 before and we've got angled panels on the front here. And you're angled that way. And the sun's over there. How good are these numbers? It's the solar setup running the three solar controllers. And the sun's over there. And I got forward facing panels, not even facing the sun. That's right. crazy. Yeah. And you're right, mate. Let's just go back to that screen. Look at that number. Happy days with this solar setup. Beautiful. How's that for solar production, guys? Three solar systems running on the roof, all networked together. Happy days. Thank you.